Hello there gorgeous YouTube collective and welcome to today's pick a card reading with me, the High Maintenance Hippie. And in today's reading, I want to find out whether you are going to end up in a relationship with the person on your mind. So if you want to delve into this reading with me today and find out some juicy information, I need you to pick one of these three piles. Pile number one, we have the conjunction. Pile number two, we have Mercury. And pile number three is the square. I highly recommend that you go with your first gut instinct. Spirit is going to guide you towards a pile which has the most relevant information for you. And once you've chosen your pile, I shall see you in your reading. Hello there gorgeous pile number ones, welcome to your reading. Let's find out whether you will end up in a relationship with a person on your mind. Now, you guys chose the conjunction card and in astrology, the conjunction is when two astrological bodies come together and they merge their energies with one another. So this is a form of union. So I do feel that there is a very strong potential for you and this person and I feel my pile number ones feel that very, very strongly. Now, I could be speaking to some pile number ones who are already in a connection with this person and maybe they're looking for some clarification, um, as well as speaking to my pile number ones who are single and wondering whether you guys are going to end up in union with one another. Now, I feel that my pile number ones could be dealing with somebody who's a little bit more detached than they are. I am getting the King of Swords coming through here. So this could be somebody who is an air sign. So this could be an Aquarius. I'm getting Gemini very strongly as well. I'm going to throw Libra in there, but I'm not getting Libra too strongly. And I'm going to throw Virgo in there too. Now, this person doesn't have to be any of those signs. This could just be the energy that they are embodying at the moment. Or if you don't know their birth chart fully and wholly, there could be some very strong air energy or Virgo energy in their chart that you do not know about. But either way, there's like a detachedness. There's a kind of up in their head kind of energy here. Now, this person could naturally be a bit more detached because they're very strong in their masculine energy. Now, bear in mind, a healthy masculine will have an attachment to their emotions. And I do feel that in these, in modern times, a man being attached to their emotions can be seen as being weak. Now, that is not the case at all. So this could be just a masculine who is a bit more detached than you because a masculine naturally will be more detached from their emotions than a feminine will. Or this could be a toxic masculine who is like completely cold and detached from their emotions. And I do think this is going to vary from person to person watching this pile. OK, so you don't all have to be dealing with an uber unhealthy masculine who's completely detached from their emotions. You could just be dealing with a healthy masculine who is more detached from their emotions than you will be. OK, if I am talking about a masculine and feminine relationship here, this is a feminine feminine relationship or masculine and masculine relationship. I do feel your person is more of the masculine energy and my partner ones are more of the feminine energy. OK, so there's something around this feeling impossible. OK, again, this doesn't have to be for all of you, but I'm getting this energy of feeling impossible. Some of you actually could be further along in the timeline and you may resonate with there being a period where this felt impossible with this person. OK, that it, I'm hearing it takes a very special person to soften this person. And then I'm getting like it's making me think of the UK National Lottery. Is this you? Could this be you? OK, I'm sure there was an advert in the UK for the National Lottery. And this was probably about 10 years ago. So this is probably showing my age now. And there was like a big hand that would come through the clouds and go, could this be you? <laughs> okay, so yeah, there could be a knowing with some of my part number ones that you could be the one to soften this person's energy. I felt like, like I felt my heart kind of twinge then, but then it felt like tears as well. So I don't know whether this person is holding back a lot of emotion through pain. I'm also getting the way that this person looks at you is different to the way that they look at other people, okay? Oh, there is some sadness with this person. I do think they're being distracted at the moment. And this distraction could be their emotions trying to flow in. I just heard the dam's breaking. So I feel that you could, oh, I don't actually know if I want to say this, but the dam is breaking. I do feel that these emotions are going to seep in at some point soon. I'm hearing in the next three months, and I know that's quite a long time scale, but in the next three months, and I want to say for some of you, okay, Spirit is saying some of you won't hold on for that long. But for those of you who do hold on for that long, 
I do feel that there could be some show of emotion that you're not expecting to come through, okay? All right, there's something around this person's inner child and the pain around their childhood. There's a lot of emotional pain with this person around their childhood. Maybe there's a lot of conflict in their family. Maybe there's a lot of conflict, um, maybe even external to the family. Maybe there's a lot of conflict at school, okay? So I'm getting either bullying in the home or bullying out of the home with this person. Oh, I can just feel, oh, look at it. That's the childhood there, look, the past. I want to cry, pile number ones, when I tap into this person's energy because... It feels like this person, because I'm getting them wanting to cry, but they can't cry. Because as soon as they let the tears go, that's when they feel that they're going to be weak. And they feel like they can't continue to battle against whatever this bullying is inside the home or outside of the home. Okay, this person was really hurt as a child. And it's like the only way that they could stop the pain was to detach from themselves. Now, another thing I'm picking up with this person is that they have like an alter ego or some kind of thought form tulpa. Do you know what a tulpa is, part number ones? I don't know whether everyone's going to know what a tulpa is, but a tulpa is some kind of thought form, okay? It's a little bit like, even I don't fully understand it, but it's a little bit like an imaginary friend, okay? Um, and it can be a form of detachment from the self so i want to stick with alter ego a little bit more than this tulpa energy okay but there is something around this person finding solace and comfort through a separate made-up version of themselves and i know this sounds absolutely nuts <laughs> but it's coming through for a reason so this person this has got really deep part number ones for your person, by the way. But maybe this explains a lot of their behaviour is what's coming through here. So this person could find solace in this separate entity entity to them. So I'm stumbling out on my words. But it's because I'm, my mind is saying, don't say it, don't say it. It's going to sound crazy. Maybe this person's energy is tapping in right now saying, don't say it, don't say, say it, you're going to expose my crazy. So this person could have found solace in creating that imaginary friend that didn't bully them, that didn't hurt them, that kind of worshipped them, is what I want to say. Or they could have put a lot of themselves, I'm kind of getting like a disc, it's like they're pulling a disc out of their head and putting it into a robot version of themselves but taking a lot of themselves and putting it into this alter ego because this alter ego is the person that would go to school and take all the SHIT or this alter ego is the person that would take over their um, kind of body and their mind to protect themselves when they were at home. Do you see what I'm saying here, okay? It's a little bit like split personality disorder. Now, I'm not saying that this person has split personality disorder because that's a very serious disorder and that um, that occurs after a lot, a lot, a lot of severe trauma. So I don't know the level of trauma that this person's been through, but split personality disorder is after a, a lot of trauma, okay? But it's like this person has disconnected the emotions and like, their emotions are with them, their original form. But this other form, this tulpa, this thought form, this imaginary friend, this alter ego is what carries the ego. OK, so their ego is disconnected from them. Their ego lives in one form. Their emotions live in another form. They are disconnected. And this gives a whole nother reason and meaning to the conjunction, the merging together, the union, the coming together, because this person is not whole. This person is in two separate forms. And I know this might sound confusing. And I know this might sound absolutely nuts and crazy. But, you know, a lot of celebrities will have an alter ego. It's that alter ego that goes on stage and does those highly, highly stressful things that maybe they themselves might not be able to handle. OK, so, you know, Beyonce, Nicki Minaj and people like that do strongly talk about having their um, alter egos, um, Roman, Sasha Fierce. OK, and they're the ones who go out in front of hundreds and thousands of people. That alter ego keeps things together and goes out and boom, does what maybe um, I don't know what Beyonce's real name is, but does what Beyonce maybe could not handle. OK. 
It's all a protective mechanism that the mind creates. The mind is so, so smart and so complex. And I feel like this person's done that. And I feel like they've done this in some way through some form of bullying in or outside of the home. Whether that bullying be very mild or whether that bullying be full on and very, very severe, okay? So you may experience two sides of this person. This person may have only shown you their like alter ego side. The side that everyone worships. <laughs> and then some of you may have seen both of these personalities flit in and out, in and out, okay? But something that's getting in between you guys is the fact that this person cannot merge back into one. They've separated themselves at some point. Okay. Oh, they all just wanted to fall off the top and I don't think I'm going to take them. The Ace of Water, the bottom of the deck. By the way, just going to say this to you guys. Um, so this is the tarot deck that I've been working on. And whenever I make a new deck, I always get a mock deck sent to me first to make sure that everything is A-OK -okay before it goes up for sale. And I've realised I've made the most stupid mistake. And instead of putting um, like cups, I've put water. OK, so I've got the swords as swords. I've got the wands as wands. And I've got the pentacles as pentacles. And I've stupidly called the cups water instead of cups for some crazy reasons so i will have to get this sorted and corrected before this deck goes up for sale um i might actually change the back as well because i feel like the back is a little bit boring i don't know what you guys think of the back maybe comment down below and let me know what you think about the back of the cards but yeah i've made my own tarot deck but it needs correcting and in the weeks to come you will see the corrected version because thing is i am merely but a human who makes mistakes so i made a mistake with this one and it's really annoyed me today really annoyed me okay i'm gonna go into whether you guys are going to end up in a relationship now because i feel i've gone so deep into their psyche and I do feel this relationship may be determined upon whether they can reconnect with that inner child. It does make me think the dam is breaking. As I said before, the dam is breaking. They are going to be pushed to reconnect with that inner child. But I still think there needs to be some time before you guys connect because they're going to go through a lot of emotional turmoil whilst they're reconnecting with that inner child. They're going to feel very small, is what I want to say. And I don't know why I just laughed then, I didn't mean to. Maybe they feel like everyone's going to laugh at them. Maybe people laughed at them before. Maybe that was part of the bullying. Maybe they were laughed at. They couldn't do anything right. They were the butt of every joke. Page of Wands. And that is like the childlike energy here. This person's inner child is going to rise again. And when this person's inner child rises with this one's energy, this powerful energy, this passionate energy, nothing's going to be able to stop them. Okay. Are my partner one's going to end up in a relationship with their person, please? Ten of swords, the end of a painful cycle, and strength. Now, this is them rising like the phoenix. Is there a song rising like the wolf? Is that a Duran Duran, 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 Duran song? Or something? Is that a Duran Duran song? If this person can empower their inner child to end this pain that they've previously been through, a lot of them won't even notice how much their childhood pained them, by the way. But if this person can have the courage to rise again, we're going to see what the outcome is for you guys. But if this person can't go through this process, I don't think there's a chance. Because I think you're too healed to put up with this person's BS. Okay, what's the outcome? The Magician. Page of Swords. And the Nine of Pentacles. Okay. I think this person, oh, not of swords at the bottom of the deck here. It's a bit of a tricky one here. Can I even... Let's have a look. Yeah, this is the end of the ego. This is the destruction of the ego here with the tower, the five of pentacles and the sun. 
this person's going to have to go into a very dark place to come back out and see the light. I'm getting something around this person. Maybe coming to you for some kind of advice or comfort. But for some of you, I'm getting this person coming to you for this advice or comfort with that ego. It's like it's the last fragments of their ego trying to attach onto something that's going to make them feel better about themselves. Okay, I don't know whether this person acts like a little bit of a bully towards you. And for some of you who are very strong in yourselves, we'll be like, oh my God, this person could never bully me. I'm a, I'm a fully grown adult. But when you look at it from a more, like... When you look at it from a different perspective, when you look at it from a disconnected perspective and look at how they're just treating you, this could be a form of bullying here. And I'm getting this person coming in and kind of using those last fragments of ego to hold on to something to make them feel better or something to kind of re-strengthen this ego, this bullying ego side of them. Oh, does that make sense? I'm so sorry, part number ones. This one's really confusing because it's deep. I do feel that this person watches you, stalks you even. I do feel that this person portrays a life where they are great on their own. Oh, I'm fine on my own. I'm better on my own. I'm stronger on my own. Is this going to end up in a relationship, please? Spirit. Justice. Justice will be served. This will be balanced out. My part number ones, you will get... Oh, and the eight of cups here has flipped okay part number ones i feel you need to walk away from this to gain anything from it at all now you could walk away from this and be like no this is definitely my person i definitely want this and you walking away is what helps this person dismantle this ego even further or, or even quicker or you could walk away from this with the intention of the walking away to help this person and you may walk away and decide you don't actually want to go back. But either way, the, the scales of karma are going to be rebalanced. If you feel like you've been mistreated by this person, you will get the last laugh is what's coming through, but they didn't want to use it in that kind of context. But you will get the last say is what I want to say more so when it comes to this person. There will be communication. This person is going to get in touch and you will have a choice whether you want this person, whether you feel that this could be a long-term connection. But for this to be a long-term connection, there will be a period of you having to step into the unknown. Is this person going to be the way that they were before? Is this person actually healed? Is this person going to hurt me? Because you're very aware that hurt people hurt people. Okay. Also, I feel like this is a message from spirit to say, Pondle wants trust your intuition when it comes to this person. Okay, some of you will get the intuitive hit to give this a go. To see, to allow yourself to be in, in the thick of it with this person to see whether they've healed. Some of you will have your intuition absolutely screaming at you to run a flipping mile, okay? But either way, I see there being a walking away period and I feel this is you walking away to then come back to make a decision, either a yes or a no with this person. Right. Do we have any extra information here, Spirit, for our palm number one and this situation and this connection? I do really get you making the final choice. You get a choice whether you want to be in a relationship with this person. The choice will be in your hands. Our connection makes me nervous and excited. And I do feel the nervousness is triggering that inner child, okay? Um, but this person, God, you make this person nervous. You make this person anxious. I'm draining your energy through this connection. Okay, I want to say, pile number ones. There's something else I did want to say earlier and I didn't say it because I felt like I'd already complicated the situation, but I feel like I need to say it. Seeing as this cards came up. So when I was talking about the separate entity to them, I'm also feeling, or I was also feeling, I say was, I am still also feeling this person. And that's um, a tiny the hamster making some noise in the back, but I'm sure, I don't know whether the camera's going to pick that up. But I also felt an energy, and this won't be for everybody, but I felt an energy where this person either has like a very witchy friend or this person has a connection to some kind of entity 
or they talk to some kind of entity and I'm, I'm being serious now part number one this ain't for everybody you'll know whether this person has that kind of vibe all right you'll know from this person's friends whether they have very kind of witchy friends or you'll know from this person's vibe whether they are someone who would communicate with spirit or do the tarot or something along those lines okay you know all right because you can normally tell <laughs> now i do feel a darker side to this kind of spiritual practice here whether it be a friend of theirs that does kind of like dark witchcraft or whether it's them that kind of i don't know maybe they do seances or something like that okay and i do feel them kind of relying on some kind of dark force or entity or person i.e this friend who could be a dark um which that doesn't use their like witchy gifts for good i feel that this person your person may have accumulated some dark attachment by delving into and experimenting with whatever this darker spiritual energy is and this energy feeds on that cowering fearful sad child that lives within them and they'll only ever get rid of this dark attachment when they start shining a light on that wounded part of themselves and they start raising that wounded child up okay to the point where that wounded child isn't of the darker vibration okay so you um part number ones they won't know that they are feeding a dark attachment because they may not be aware that that part of them, that wounded child still lives within them, okay? hope that makes sense. But I would say, for those of you who know that this person is of a darker nature, okay, or has people around them who do dark kind of witchcraft, disconnect your energy pile number ones. This is not, this is not your burden to bear. Okay, I'm draining your energy through this connection because their dark attachment has latched onto you. Now, if you disconnect your energy and go, no, just leaving this person to themselves, you do what you want, but I'm not going to be part of it. If you heal, you're going to come back. We'll talk about things. But until you've healed, la da 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 da, I'm done with you. Focus your energy elsewhere. You will not have this dark attachment anymore. Okay, but this dark attachment wants to feed off you as well. Oh. Romance, I want to show you how much you mean to me. This is how they feel deep down. They do have feelings for you. Surprise, this connection isn't what you initially expect. Now, this surprise could literally be that this person returns different and healed. Oh, 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 oh. I've dropped too many cards. I put those back. nine of cups oh my gosh i just messed my deck up nine of cups two of cups and five of pentacles i'm sorry five of cups in reverse look at that for some of you this connection could return as a wish fulfillment a relationship and the end of disappointment and sadness interesting i wasn't taking reversals in um in this deck today but that five of cups in reverse with the nine of cups and the two of cups speaks volumes to me so yeah i'll um, take that one in reverse so yeah you know there is a chance this person could come back here but you've got to leave them to do their own healing because they're not going to heal with you around because they're going to feed off your energy patience we meet we need more time to figure things out this is the thing you've got to leave You've got to leave this person. By the way, this person's very intimidated by you. Your beauty and your status makes them feel insecure. And chemistry. They can't deny that you guys just have like overwhelming chemistry with each other. This person wants a relationship with you. Hands down, they want a relationship with you. Whether they can have a relationship with you is dependent on their healing, okay? I do think this person, regardless of whether they've healed or not, they are going to return wanting a relationship with you. You will have the last say. Let's see if the Red Light Oracle wants to give us any extra information. Okay, a little bit of a naughtier deck. Fantasy, you make my wildest dreams come true. You literally are a fantasy come true for this person. 
long kisses, building our bond is what matters the most to me. And I've been manifesting you whilst I pleasure myself. This person touches themselves over you, pile number. Oh, we've got a flipper here. This person tr touches themselves over you, pile number one. On repeat, we need to stop this cycle. Because the thing is, that you could already be in a cycle with this person. You could have already repeated things a thousand times. Um, either way, the cycle that you're currently in needs to stop this person. I think that's why spirit wants you to walk away. But yeah, this person thinks a lot deeper than just S-E-X with you. If that's also something that my partner ones have been wondering. I'm just going to check the time. And let's see what this person wants to say to you. Pile number ones before we leave, before we end the reading. What does this person wish they would say to you if they were completely honest? And by the way, all of these decks today are my decks. I can see us settling down together. I told you. They want to be in a relationship with you. They truly, truly do. Um, and yeah, just to say what I was going to say, all of these decks are my decks. The tarot is not going to be for sale for another couple of weeks because I am going to get my mistake fixed and then it will be up and it will be for sale. But all the other decks are fine, <laughs> perfectly fine. I've got the Obsession Oracle here, which is an amazing deck um, for clarification when it comes to um, karmic relationships, soulmate relationships, twin flame relationships. We've got the red light oracle, which is a bit of like a naughtier version of the obsession oracle. Absolutely love these two decks. These two decks here, the obsession oracle and the red light oracle are my babies. I absolutely adore these decks. They look fantastic. They are so easy to shuffle. Honestly, like I get the most clarification and I have a lot of decks. Okay, I've bought a lot of decks in my time and my mum also gifts me a lot of decks, which is so, so lovely of her. But these two decks give me the most clarification than any flipping deck that I have in my collection. And I know that sounds like a sales pitch because they are my decks, but I'm telling you, I love them. I spent so much time on these two decks. I don't know. Oh God, <clears throat> I'm choking now. Don't go. <laughs> that spirit saying, "Come on, stop bragging about yourself." But don't get me wrong. Okay, I spent a lot of time on this deck as well. But this deck was a creation from my bowls. So for those of you who used to watch the High Maintenance Hippie on the older channel, I used to always have the bowls, and I created a deck from my um, bowls. Um, but again, I spent a lot of time on this one as well. I love this little clarifying deck. And the tarot, which isn't finished because I've made a flipping mistake. <laughs> but yeah, these decks are available on my Etsy store and they're all linked in the description box down below. Okay, so I can see it settling down together. What else, spirit? I need more time. Yes, they need time to heal. They got some shit they need to work through. Oh, one's just flung onto the floor. Let me just pick that up. I can't get you out of my mind. Of course not. Who would be able to get you out of their mind, pond number one? You are fantastic and amazing. Three more, please, spirit. Is this lust or love? They are literally questioning whether this is love. Dependent. The, the, no, what was I going to say? Not dependent. Um, regardless. Regardless of what stage you are with this person, okay? They literally feel like they love you. But maybe they don't know what love is. What else have we got here, spirit? You're too good for me. Okay, I did say that they are intimidated by you. And I'm purposely trying to trigger you. Okay, this person could purposely be trying to trigger you because it has landed on top of this sex magic. I've been manifesting you whilst I pledge myself. So this person could be trying to manifest you in. I did say if this is somebody who practices like dark magic, okay, they could know the power of SEX to draw somebody in. Um, or this could be somebody who's posting online, showing off a little bit. Um... Maybe they're putting information into the grapevine to get back to you to say, oh, part number one's person is so happy with our part number one. Do you know what I mean? They could be purposely trying to make you jealous here. Okay, so if this person is kind of flaunting things and throwing things in, in your face, so my throat chakra is getting really blocked now, this person could be doing that purposely. Well, they are because we pulled it from the deck. This person is purposely trying to trigger you either to make you jealous or trigger you to make you come to them, okay? Right, I'm going to leave that there, part number one. I hope this helps in some way. I hope you um, 
enjoyed the reading if you made it this far drop me a like make sure you subscribe if you do watch this reading and you do like this reading because this is a brand new channel and it needs to grow 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 and also um comment down below if you've got anything to say at all take care of yourselves my beauties and i shall see you next time Hello there gorgeous part number two, welcome to your reading. Let's find out whether you are going to be in a relationship with the person on your mind. Now you guys chose the Mercury card and Mercury is the fastest moving planet in our zodiac. So I do feel that this connection could be moving quite fast. I do feel that either it's already moving quite fast or there could be some quick movement. Maybe you guys just fall into a relationship quite quickly with this person. I do feel there isn't some communication here. I don't know where the spirit is kind of giving you a bit of a heads up to say, make sure that communication is open and honest with this person, because maybe you'll end up in a position of no return, <laughs> maybe a position that you don't want to be in. I'm kind of getting a bit of a manipulative energy coming through here. Now, this doesn't have to be anything like uber, uber negative but it could be that you could be manipulated to be in a relationship with this person very quickly move in with this person very quickly and then you could realize later on down the line oh s-h-i-t <laughs> i don't know a way out of this okay so i don't know whether spirit is trying to tell you to look spirit is not saying that you will not want to be with this person okay spirit is very strongly clarifying that it's not a case that you are going to realize down the line that you do not want to be with this person it's more the fact that spirit wants you to make sure that you are evaluating and taking the time to evaluate this connection because you could end up in a position in the future where maybe you don't want to be. It could even be, you know, something on the lines of like moving in with this person very, very quickly and having like extra rent on your hands that you never had before. OK, so it doesn't have to be that you don't want to be with this person. It could be you signing contracts of some kind with this person and putting extra weight on your shoulders that maybe you just weren't quite ready for okay okay how will you know who this person is oh the seven of pentacles patience pregnancy things come to fruition okay patience is what's sticking out very very strongly here seeing as i was just saying for you guys my part number twos to take a little bit more time to evaluate with this person um Another thing that's coming through as well here with the pregnancy, and it was actually a little thought form that came through as well whilst I was just explaining what I was previously explaining. You could end up getting pregnant with this person a little bit too soon. The three of wands was wanting to um, come out. It was like poking out at me the whole time when I was explaining this Mercury card to you. So the three of wands here is very, very prominent. Okay, making the right choice the three of wands making the right choice what's this three of wands please spirit because i'm a little bit stuck here and i'm not taking reversals in this deck today yeah you could have somebody upon number twos who are rushing you to make a choice here Maybe my part number twos are people who may struggle to make decisions at times. Maybe my part number twos, and you don't have to be, but I may be speaking to some part number twos who may struggle to make decisions, who may like to ask other people for their advice and sometimes take other people's advice over their own advice. Or some of you who are just sick of making all of your own decisions and then this person comes into your life and they are making a lot of decisions for you. They're kind of saying, come on, let's do this, let's do that. And you're kind of like just letting go and letting what will be will be with this person. There is a message coming through here from Spirit to say, you make the right choices. You have to have a say in every choice you make in this connection because this person... As much as they probably don't have bad intentions, and that's that slightly manipulative energy that was coming through at the start of the reading, but as much as they don't or may not have bad intentions, what they want isn't ultimately what you want. And you guys need to meet in the middle when it comes to decisions within this connection. So you need to remember to meet in the middle because this person may think what you want is what they want or think what they want is what you want <laughs> getting confused to me to you to me to you um they may think that what they want is ultimately the best for you and it's what you want but it's not because what you want is what you want i hope this makes sense in some way for you guys pile number two 
Okay. I do also feel that there could be some information hidden here. Pile number two. What's this Ace of Swords? What's this hidden information? Okay. I do feel that this person that you're dealing with, I don't feel that they're a bad person. Okay. I really don't. But I feel that they may live a little bit egotistically. I feel that this person may spend a little bit more than they can afford. They might be a little bit flashy or they may put on a big front. But don't be fooled because what's underneath isn't quite what you see on the surface. Okay, what's the Seven of Pentacles here? Wheel of Fortune. Okay. There's an unavoidable fate with this person. If you go along with them blindly, you could end up... <sighs> That's this Wheel of Fortune, please. Let's have a clarify for this Wheel of Fortune. Yeah, this is what I thought. It was like a negative energy coming from this Wheel of Fortune. If you go along with this person and just basically just instead of giving yourself up to God, you're giving yourself up to this person, this human, you could end up in a very negative place. This could be anxiety because you're trapped within a relationship. This could be anxiety because you are in a lesser um, healthy financial place than you were before you met this person. OK, it could be that this person does have... Um, even issues with like substances or issues with spending is what's coming through very, very strongly. Okay, you may not realize that this person is living a little bit of a lie. Oh, I still don't think this person is awful. I don't think this person is bad. I just think there's a few things you don't know about this person yet. And these few things that you don't know yet may sway your decision whether you wanted to be in a long term relationship with them, may sway your decision whether you would fully commit to this person. I'd also want to say that this person, because I'm thinking about Mercury energy here, this person could have like smaller features, maybe like smaller eyes or a smaller nose, smaller mouth, or they could just be quite a kind of, I'm getting like a spindly a spindly person so this could be somebody who is a bit slimmer a bit more kind of lanky is what i want to say um but if their body type isn't more spindly that's literally the word that spirit has given me spindly it could be that they have like smaller facial features you could see that they have like quite a youthful appearance when it comes to their face because their features are like little toddler features or something like that okay they could have like a cute nose um but either way something's going to fit it's either going to be the kind of very cute facial features or it's going to be like the spindly kind of physique spindly i hope you know what spindly means you know what i mean like a bit more kind of long kind of features slim do you know what i mean a nice physique okay slim fit is what i'm getting here okay right are you my part number two is going to end up in a relationship with this person and by the way, this is the tarot deck that I have created, but I have made a blooming mistake. So whenever I create a new deck, I always get a mock deck sent to me first so that I can check like the spelling's good, the printing's good, and everything is a-okay. But this time around, I've made a big flipping boo-boo. So if you notice here, the swords, I've put them as swords. The um, pentacles is pentacles, of course. The wands are wands, but I've put the cups as water. It should be wands, pentacles, swords and cups. And instead, I've put wands, pentacles, swords and water instead of cups. So, yeah, I've made a little bit of a mistake. So I'm going to have to correct that and send this deck back off. And then once I've corrected my mistake, because there are no other mistakes in this deck, um, this tarot deck will be up for sale okay it's got the astrological signs on each card it's got little um keywords as well for what each card means too and yeah i'm really pleased with the deck other than my silly willy mistake that i've made i'm not too sure about the back though tell me what you think about the back i thought it was going to be a little bit more colorful than this um it came out like a little bit dull the printing has on the back and i think i might actually put a shine on this deck instead okay but yeah either way give me your comments on the deck ignore the water bit i will i will um correct that and pop cups on there but give me your thoughts on the deck my beauties and this will be up for sale soon once i've corrected my silly really mistake all right so <clears throat> i'm gonna grab a drink of water actually guys because my throat is getting a little bit funny a little bit funny 
Maybe it's because this person wants to tell you something, but they can't. Mm. All right. Now, this person could move very quickly with you because they do want to bag you. They want to tie you down. Okay. I don't think this person wants to tie you down quickly because they know there's a reason why you wouldn't want to be with them. Okay. So I don't think it's like a narcissistic kind of quickly, quickly disable my part number two so that they have to stay with me. I don't see it being that, but I think subconsciously they know they're not quite right. <laughs> that sounds awful, doesn't it? I think subconsciously they know that maybe their spending is an issue, their finances are an issue, there's some kind of issue, okay? And I do think this is a very normal issue, all right? I don't think this is an abnormal issue. I don't think this is going to be some mad issue that's like, well, like only 1% of the population would have this issue. I think this is quite a normal issue. You know, this could be the fact that they are in mega, mega debt or something like that. And so many people are in debt these days. But there's like a subconscious knowing that they are on a bit of a back foot, maybe. So there is like a need to kind of need for speed <laughs> is what I want to say. OK, there could be car issues, too, with this person. But yeah, a need for speed to tie you down because subconsciously they know they've got to get you quick because they could lose you because there's something in the background that they don't feel too confident about. Right. Will you end up in a relationship with this person, part number twos? And I mean, I think there's parts of this person that are absolutely fantastic. I want to say that this person could be very courteous. This person could be very good with words as well. Um, yeah, I'm getting like a gift of the gab kind of energy with this person. Look, Ten of Pentacles and the Six of Swords here. Okay, this person could come from a wealthy family. Or this person... I'm just getting a big payout for some reason. There's like a big payout here with this person. And it leaves them a little bit unstable. But I feel like this person was brought up well, is what's coming through. Okay. Maybe this person has been very reliant on other people financially previously. Maybe this is parents. Maybe this is um, reliance on previous partners financially. Oh, gosh. Okay. King of Cups. This is what I mean. Like, this person, they are... Like, really good partner material. The Hermit. Ah, oh, interesting. This person is really good partner material. <sighs> What's this Hermit, please, Spirit? The Star and the Hermit. Kind of makes me think that this person, maybe, maybe they're in a bit of a hermit mode at the moment. I'm just getting finances again. Maybe they're in a bit of a hermit mode at the moment because of something to do with finances. Whatever this weakness is that they have in their energy, they're hermiting because of this. But you've got this six of wands energy that's kind of like, I'm coming up. I want the world to know, gotta let it show. Like, it's like very kind of um, flashy energy. But maybe this person's in a little bit more of like an introverted manifestation phase of their life where they're kind of correcting things from the past. This could be financial. Maybe this could be um, healing past addictions is what's coming through, okay? Whether this person's had like addictions in the past too, spending money too, um, alcohol, um, D-R-U-G and stuff like that, okay? This person's trying to kind of keep their life quite quiet and I feel that you're coming in, it's like, I'm coming up, I want you. do you know what I mean? Like you're like turning the disco lights on, you're dragging them out, all right? Um, so I don't know whether that's resonating for my part number twos here. So maybe there's they're just... There's a real people-pleasing energy with this person as well. They want to be in a relationship with you, pile number two. With this King of Cups, they have such deep emotion for you. But there's something around this person. Huh. Because what's standing out to me with this star card here is hope. Hoping that everything works out and I'm just getting like... A pipe dream. I don't actually know what that means, but I think it may mean like a dream with no anchoring, a dream with no solid grounded evidence that this dream can manifest. Does that make sense to you guys? 
So this person is kind of like at home. I'm just seeing them kind of like this king of um, cups here, king of bloody water. Can't believe I did that. Um, but this king of cups here kind of sitting their legs crossed with their fingers crossed, just like, come on. <laughs> hope everything pulls through okay so something is a little bit ungrounded with this person but they do want a relationship with you what's a six of wands please spirit yeah like they've oh look at that the ten of cups oh my god we've got the ten of cups and we've got the um two of cups here as well and both of them are like marriage cards they are my marriage cards and we've got both of them out here like this person would want to settle down with you this person would want to marry you I feel this person gets a lot of pride as well when it comes to you. Like, I don't know whether you look really good on their arm. I don't know whether, like, you just make this person feel like a million flipping dollars. But you do. And they're, they're not quite ready for a relationship with you for some practical reason. This isn't anything emotional. This is something practical. But they're going to go for it anyway. Because you are their... Oh, oh pile number two you are their ultimate wish fulfillment here so i want to say pile number two you have the choice of being in a relationship with this person and this came out for pile number one in reverse and i'm going to take it in reverse for this one as well even though i'm not taking reverses today but you pull this person out of like their kind of despair is what i want to say so there is something in their life at the moment that is causing a little bit of like weight on their shoulders but you pull this person out of that you kind of give this person hope again i just want to say pile number two this person right just to clarify this person wants to be in a relationship with you you will have the choice to be in a relationship with this person. There is a secret they are not telling you. And this secret has something to do with something practical. Okay, this could be that they're not financially where they want to be. Okay, they could have a lot of debt. All right. So if there's a lot of debt, it could be a, a case of marrying them and taking on their debt. All right. So let's get their finances all straight first, Paul. Number two is hence why you need to not rush into this. You need to take things slow. Now, if this isn't anything like financial issues, they could have an addiction of some kind. This could be like alcohol and um, D-R-U-G-Z, D-U-R-G-Z, D-U-R-G-Z, D-R-U-G-Z, okay? But it's something practical here that's weighing heavy on them. And you finding out what that is, and I do think they'll be honest with you, I don't see this person being a weird person creepy manipulative bleh, like kind of monster i just see this person not telling you the complete truth about something maybe because it's not even came up in conversation yet okay but i do think whatever that is is going to alter your um decision on whether you'd want something long term with them and this is oh okay for some of you, it could be that this person hasn't told you the truth about them having a child, all right? Maybe this person has a kid and that may alter your decision when it comes to this person because they've kept the child secret for some reason, okay? I don't know. The Empress just like flicked off the top of the deck as you saw and we've got the Ace of Swords here which does talk about the truth coming in. Um, this could be that this person wants children, okay? We do have the Ten of Cups here with two people, fling a baby into the air could be that this person wants children maybe that's something that could alter your decision as to whether you want some the future with them or it could be you wanting children maybe they don't want children okay so there could be a bit of a kind of like hoo-ha about that uh, uh the empress as well is like she is very abundant oh, i don't know what else it could be with this empress Taurus Venus you know that is somebody who's very like financially abundant people who are Taurus Venus hey there I'm Taurus Venus um shout out to all the other Taurus Venuses out there we do like a stable financial person to make us feel comfortable so yeah some truth will come out about something which will make you go oh I need a little bit more time to think about that all right for some of you, it will be like, oh, God, no, I'm not going forward with this person because I can't deal with that. And for some of you, it will just be like, oh, not ideal. Let me think about it. OK. All right. 
So this person is a good person, though, pile number two. They really, really are. So you're not wasting your time. Um, just go a little bit slower because there may be some kind of yeah, information that may make you go, oh, uh, OK, <laughs> reevaluate, right? OK, it does make me think that you are in the very early stages with this person, pile number two. Um, if not, I do think there could be some distance between you guys, which means that you guys have been moving a little bit slower. All right. Um, OK, let's have a look what the Obsession Oracle has for us. Oh, covert. My intentions for this connection are selfish and self-serving. I did say earlier, OK, I don't get that this person's like narcissistic. But it could be like an element of manipulation to get you or tie you down quickly because they're just so desperate for you. And maybe they don't feel that they deserve you. Like I feel when people don't feel like they deserve a person desperate at the bottom of the deck. I didn't even look at that. And I said there's a desperation with this person. But when people desire a person so badly, it can go one of two ways. It can either go the way of pushing that person away. Oh, I, like You're amazing. You're my wish fulfillment. You're my fancy. You're everything I've ever wanted. I need to push you away because I'm going to get hurt. Or it can go in the other direction of like, oh my God, I need to grab onto this person. You're mine, you're mine, you're mine, you're mine, you're mine, all right? I feel this person is yeah grabbing onto you quite tightly because you are just oh everything they've ever wanted so yeah they could be being very selfish at the moment with regards to like wanting to experience you and have you on their arm they could be looking at things very superficially with you actually not thinking about or oh, whether you guys are a really good match deep deep down they might not be thinking about that they might not be thinking whether you guys are a good emotional match they might not be thinking about whether you guys would work well living together and spending the rest of your lives with each other and whether you guys share the same goals they're more desperately kind of like thinking about the fact that you are this shiny jewel that makes them look like the the big boss do you know what i mean like i am the bee's knees look at who i've got on my arm do you know what i mean that's the kind of energy i'm getting with this person part number two sacrifice there are things we must shed to make space for this connection and i think this is more the fact that there are things we must share to make space for this connection um see whether the see whether the obsession oracle wants to tell us what this um stuff is that needs to be shared or what needs to be uh pain and lust my obsession for you is unhealthy hell yeah and my attraction towards you is physical but there are things we must shed to make space for this connection with lust and pain huh it may be addictions that they need to shed um i'm gonna try and clarify this with a tarot card what's a sacrifice energy please spirit here? Just see if we can pinpoint what this is. Yeah, something to do with their childhood. Um, we've got returning X here too, so maybe someone needs to release an X. Okay, there could be some codependency here, but either way, this is codependency towards something, whether this be an X for some of you. Um, is this an X spirit? Is this an X? Let's have a look. Uh, for some of you, there could be an X on the scene still. Um, how will you know if this is you where there's an X on the scene? Let's see. Won't be for all of you, though, all right? Um, you'll know if there's an X on the scene if this X is a Libra. Okay, you've got the Four of Swords. I believe that's Four of Swords, yeah, and Justice here, both of them Libra cards. So if their ex is a Libra, this ex could still be on the scene. If this is an ex that they've had from their childhood, could still be on the scene. Otherwise, what they need to shed is this addiction that they have. Guys, for some of you, this could be a bit of like a SEX addiction. Because I'm actually hearing spirits say... I can't, can I even tell you what Spirit is saying? It's literally coming through like this. I heard the words so wank a lot. <laughs> I've never ever used those words ever um, together like that. And it is quite comical, but this person could be so wank a lot. Um, but there's addictions. If it's not, 
I see acts addictions. It, it, yeah, it's addictions to substances or something like that, or spending or something like that. Okay. Um, what else do we have? Oh my gosh. <laughs> Deviant, I'm into some things you may not agree with. There's that SEX stuff coming up again. And this isn't even a, you know, a naughty deck, all right? The Red Light Oracle is the naughty deck. And I hide my feelings in case you don't feel the same way. But this came with Deviant. So I do think that this person hides their SE actual desires in case you don't feel the same way. They could be into some things. All right. This could be the secret that you don't know about. All right. Could be some SE actual here. Your emotions are pushing me away. Okay, that's a random one to come out. Your emotions are pushing me away. Actually wanted to come out with the COVID, so I'm going to pop that there. Okay. It's weird because it's coming up with the King of Cups and the Two of Cups as well. Your emotions are pushing me away. Maybe this is you. Maybe this is you. This person's like kind of like desperate desire for you is pushing you away because i don't feel like it's them i really don't they're dodging oh god sorry that was, was did my stomach just make a weird noise there? that's crazy they are dodging okay it's not that they're avoiding this connection here okay i don't feel that they are dodging healing whatever this addiction is that they have okay they're acting like it doesn't exist it doesn't exist okay this could literally be when i meet the right person i won't have this addiction anymore <laughs> All right, part number two, this one's turning out to be a little bit more, like, interesting. Okay, what do we have with the red light oracle, please? Okay, this is, like, the naughty deck that I have. I'm not going to take all of them. We do have a flipper. Oh, <laughs> inconvenient bonus. The slightest thought of you sets me off. Like, this person is addicted to you. Like, they are desperate for you. Frustrated. The longer I can't have you, the more I want you. Animalistic. This is raw. Sex. Nothing more. And territorial. I want people to know your mind. Like this is this person's desperate energy for you. They are literally just like so dying to like get into your pants. Um, and they've got this very strong se actual energy where they just want to like fc uk again and again and again and again and again. I'm starting to think this is sex addiction with this person, guys. And territorial like they want you to be their toy is what i'm getting like you're my toy oh wow okay this person fancies the hell out of you pile number two like this person is like oh my god i just want to go again and again and again with this person like i honestly think that this person is feeling i could never ever get bored of my pile number two's body okay they're gonna literally try and tie you down <laughs> And then you're going to find out that they have, like, proper SEX addiction. <laughs> I don't know why I'm giggling so much. Dripping. The wetter you get, the more I know you want me. Okay. Um, yeah, this is the kind of person I would... I'm even getting the energy here where you could... Some of you may have actually done this and comment down below if you have, but I'm getting the energy with this person. I'm just checking the time. Okay, I'm getting the energy with this person where you could actually make this person dodge work by like just staying in bed with them and just being like, hey, I want you. I want to spend the whole day doing it. Da, 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 da. This person would literally call in work sick to do that with you all day. They will drop any, um, oh, not requirement, what am I looking for? Any responsibility to do the deed with you. They will drop any responsibility, okay? It's like they could be at a wedding and they will miss the best man speech. Obviously, if they're the best man, I don't think they can miss the speech. But if they are at a wedding, they would miss the best man speech just to, like, I'm even getting, like, have some oral with you in the toilets. Do you know what I mean? Like, they've got an addiction. <laughs> I don't know why I'm giggling so much. And the way you move hypnotizes me. Like you literally, again, it's that thing. It's like you can make them do anything with your SEX appeal. Oh, God. Yeah. But something you may not like, part number two, is that you may feel this weakness that they have for it a little bit uneasy. All right. So maybe you need to find out a little bit more about this <laughs> before you actually get in like a long term relationship with this person. 
I would find out, and it's going to be at a different level for all of you, part number two. For some of you, this will be at a very small level. For some of you, this may be at a larger scale and a larger level where maybe, you know, they've got themselves in trouble with SEX before. Do you know what I mean? But yeah, if you want to do some snooping, I would say broach the subject of SEX with them. Okay. Because um, yeah, it whatever this addiction is if it is the SEX and I think SEX is definitely one of them um you just want to find out a bit more information before you commit to this person I'm getting an edge of jealousy with this as well just because they do want you so badly and remember like they're addicted to you SE actually part number two so just bear that in mind all right you know don't think oh they're just addicted to every Tom Tom D-I-C-K and Harry they're addicted to you all right um but where was I going with this I've gone completely blank. But yeah, anyway, they are addicted to you when it comes to this. Um, but yeah, maybe just want to find out a bit more information about it. Okay. Mm, all right, what do they wish they could say to you? I felt like something else wanted to come out then. I felt like a channel coming through, but it's gone. Can we talk? Yes, we need to talk about this SEX addiction here. Yeah, can we talk? Okay. It was love at first sight. Yeah, it was bloody SEX at first sight for this person. They were like, oh, it's you. It's you because I want to FCUK you all day, all night, all day, all night. Isn't there a song like that? All day, all night. I don't know, but that's coming through for some reason. Um, maybe this person likes to like party as well. This could be spending a lot of money when they go out partying. I'm also getting an energy with this person. Oh, I'm getting an energy with this person literally going out, having a few drinks, and being very frivolous with their body and their money. Don't put those two together and think I'm saying, you know, going to pay for it. I don't really mean like that. But this could be the kind of person who has a few drinks and then is like, I'm going to buy everyone in the bar some drinks. Everyone drinks are on me. Do you know what I mean? That kind of person. This person could be very different drunk than they are sober. This could literally be the kind of person that when they're sober, they're like very sensible. But when they're drunk, it's like, I'm going to buy you all a drink in this bar tonight. And everyone's like, way. And then in the morning, they look at their bad balance and they're like, oh, S-H-I-T. OK. Ooh. <laughs> all right. This is the kind of stuff you need to find out about this person. I think this person sounds exciting. But is this person exciting when your bank account is connected to their bank account? Maybe not. <laughs> is this person exciting when your bank accounts are separate? Probably yes. <laughs> All right, I'm going through something right now. What are they going through, Spirit? I think we kind of know what they're going through. But let's just get a clarify. What are they going through, Spirit? The Knight of Wands, player energy, impulsive, high SEX drive, and the Six of Pentacles. Just giving, giving their D-I-C-K, giving their money, just... Oh, this person, oh, I'm, oh, do I want to say what I was going to say? Do I want to say it? And if I do, how do I want to say it? Yeah, I'm just getting like everyone back to my room. Let's all have a good flipping time. Um, I think that speaks for itself. Take that as you will. Take that as you will, okay? That very night of wands, player, high SEX, drive impulsive energy and giving, okay? Giving money, having financial authority. Yeah, they do. They do. They just want to have a good time. <laughs> okay, um, what else, Spirit? Three more. I'm so attracted to you. Yes, like it is you that they want. Um. I want you, but do you want me? Okay, maybe they don't know whether you feel the same way. Maybe this excites them a little bit. And one more, please, Spirit. I hear your name everywhere. This person is truly obsessed with you. But yeah, there could be some kind of financial addiction, SEX addiction, party addiction, drink addiction. Something is there, guys. And you need to find out what that is before you commit to this person because... I think you like this person, part number two. I think you like them. I think you will like them. But it's whether you like them for a long-term stable connection or whether you are like, right, I'm going to keep this one at arm's length, but I'm going to enjoy the moment. Do you know what I mean? Okay. I think if this person had counselling, I think you could be in a long-term relationship. But I don't know why I keep wanting, I keep wanting to laugh at their addictions because they're flipping. It just seems like they're really stupid. Like, I can imagine you guys going out okay um 
I can imagine you guys going out and in the morning this person just being like oh no what did I do and you just laughing your head off do you know what I mean and even though this person's in distress and we shouldn't really laugh at people in distress I think you could find it quite humorous and just be like you are the biggest idiot I think I've ever met but oh my god last night was hilarious all right it's that kind of energy I'm getting um I don't think this person takes life too seriously either, which kind of adds the humour to this, okay? So it's like, they can probably laugh at their mistakes, okay? They're that kind of person to laugh at their mistakes, all right? Um, but yeah, is this something long-term? Well, yes, it is, if you want it to be, but do you want it to be something long-term, part number two? It depends on the extent of this person's addiction, all right. For some of you, as I said, it won't be too severe. But for some of you, you may be like, oh, <laughs> so, yeah, I'd say spend some time around them in public places with alcohol. Maybe meet their friends before you, you know, settle down with them and, you know, maybe just ask them about their views on SEX and what they like and things like that before you decide to commit. Just do some investigation and communicate with this person because I feel a very easygoing energy with you guys. I feel this person opening up if you give them the opportunity to. Um, and I do think you have a choice because this person would marry you, guys. They would marry you. But it's whether you would feel safe to marry them, okay? Or fully comfortable to marry them. But yeah, I'm going to leave that there, poll number two. If you like this reading, drop me a like. If you want to say anything at all, please comment down below. And please subscribe if you do like this reading and you want to see more from me because this is a new channel and I need it to grow, grow, grow. So yeah, I need your help for that. So take care of yourselves, beauties, and I shall see you next time. Goodbye. Hi there, poll number three. Welcome to your reading. Let's find out whether you are going to be in a relationship with the person on your mind. So you guys chose the square card. Now the square in astrology does talk about a challenging situation, a mountain that needs to be climbed or an obstacle that needs to be overcome. So I do feel that you guys could be dealing with a situation that could actually be moving painfully slowly is what I'm feeling here very strongly. I don't know whether this person could be breadcrumbing you. They could be showing you little glimmers of hope here or there, which keep you hanging on. Because I'm just hearing that song, you keep me hanging on. Okay, so little glimmers of hope that are just keeping you hanging on, but there's just not enough to really satisfy you. So I am getting that this person could be acting in their shadow. So when I think about astrology and star signs, and we'll talk about sun signs in particular here, you will have the light attributes to that sign and you will have the shadow attributes to that sign. So for instance, I'm an Aries, so I feel the light attributes to the Aries energy is that very go-getter, that very passionate energy, that very motivational energy that an Aries can bring you, the optimism as well that an Aries can bring you, like everything will be fine. And then I feel the shadow side of the Aries is more of that um, forceful, authoritative energy, that anger, trying to control through their anger. I always feel with an Aries, and I think it's the same with all the fire signs, so Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, but I feel it with Aries very, very strongly, that when an Aries enters the room, they have the ability to either raise the energy or lower the energy like if an Aries walks in a room full of people and they're feeling optimistic and high it's so infectious and it can literally motivate everybody else to be in a higher vibration but if an Aries walks into a room and they are in a mood and they are unhappy I really do feel that they bring the whole room down with them so I don't know whether you guys agree with that but I've always felt that with Aries energy now with your person I'm getting very, very strong Taurus energy. I'm also getting Gemini energy. Now, this doesn't mean it has to be their sun, moon or rising. It could just be the energy that they're embodying. But Taurus energy, when they're more in their shadow side, can be very stubborn. They won't want to hear your point of view. They could even be quite cold and lack empathy at times. And I feel Gemini in their shadow energy could treat you like an option. They could... Um, 
have high anxiety as well, okay? And this anxious energy can affect you. So I do feel like a little element of Taurus and Gemini energy in their shadow side with this person in particular. Again, doesn't have to be their sun, moon or rising, but you could resonate with those energies being the kind of energy that you're picking up from this person. I've got to say though, Gemini is coming through very, very strongly. And just bear in mind that they could have heavy Gemini in their chart that you don't know about if you do not know um, their full kind of birth details. So to pull up your full chart, you need your date of birth, the year of the birth, time of birth and location of birth. Okay, so they could have like a cheeky Gemini stellium there or something like that. All right, that you don't know about. But yeah, this person could actually be quite codependent when it comes to substances. I don't know whether you know this person to drink a lot or yeah, it, it doesn't even have to be like alcohol or like recreational D-I-U-G-S's. It could be um, like pharmaceuticals or something like that. Okay. What else do we have about this person in the spirit to help our palm number threes with regards to their situation with them? Okay, there is like an immature energy with this person. Maybe they're trying to decide whether they are ready for something serious or not. Okay, I'm not going to take reversals in this deck today. Okay, but I, I really feel drawn to reverse something. I will, but I'm going to... Yeah, <laughs> I'm going to go for the uprights. By the way, this is actually my new tarot deck, but I've made a silly mistake in the production. Whenever I create a new deck, I get a mock deck sent to me first before they go up for sale, just to check that everything's good, the printing's good, the spelling's good. But I've made a mistake because, look, the swords are swords. The pentacles are pentacles. The wands are wands. But the cups, I've put water instead of cups. I and mean, that's a silly, silly mistake that I've made. So I'm going to have to rectify that um, before this deck is up for sale. But yeah, in the weeks to come, you will see the, um, the, the water will then be cups and everything will be fine. And then you'll be able to purchase this tarot deck. Uh, but yeah, I am merely but a human being who makes mistakes. And I've made a mistake today, but I did want to still use the deck today because I was super excited when it turns up. But I'm just super annoyed that I've made such a stupid mistake. Now... I am also going to say with this person, if you guys don't end up in a relationship, they are going to think in the future, maybe not too far into the future, that they've made a stupid mistake letting you go. All right. So I just want to throw that in there because that came through very strongly as I was telling you about my very silly mistake here with the water instead of the cups. All right. But yeah. Maybe this person fears that stability or maybe they're searching for that stability. What's this four of wands, please, spirit? Oh, justice. Hmm. One more for this four of wands and justice, please, spirit. The sun. Oh, God, what is going on with this one? So... I just think this person desires stability deep, deep down, but they're in this shadow energy. So they're trying to avoid stability. I don't know whether they see stability as being like boring. They're self-sabotaging. Yeah, they are self-sabotaging. Because this connection could bring them stability. I want to say my part number three is you could be people who are homeowners. You could be people... If you're not homeowners, you're still very stable. You still have a home that you know that, you know, is a long term home for you. Nice home. Finances are probably good. OK, good, stable or great. And you know that you could really kind of, I want to say, like upgrade this person, help this person level up in some way. Now, it doesn't have to be stability wise. It doesn't have to be financially, but it could just be giving this person the emotional stability so that they don't have to live their life anxious anymore. But there's something around this person seeing stable as boring and more fool on them is what I just heard. OK, so foolishly. They see stability as being boring and they sabotage anything that they that kind of stabilizes them because stability makes them feel uncomfortable, which is absolutely crazy. I'm just going to take a drink. Mm. So st stability currently makes this person feel uncomfortable. 
stability is restriction for this person as well and they want to be free but i kind of feel you watching this person and seeing them do absolutely nothing with their freedom either <laughs> if that makes sense right I want to just open this up a little bit before I find out whether you guys are going to be in a relationship. So can I have some more information, please, for our number threes with regards to this person? Oh, look here. We have the Queen of Cups. Bloody Queen of Water. Oh, the Queen of Cups and the King of Cups. And then the Death card. So we have the counterparts here. And I think this is what makes it very difficult for you guys because you know underneath everything you two are a very strong match you could both be water signs but you don't have to be or there could be some conjoining water sign energy in your chart so you could both be water risings water suns water moons water marses water venuses okay there's something water that's the same with you guys or this could be a kind of like a conjunction in the astrological chart that you have okay it could literally be like a water sun conjunct a water moon but there's something around you guys not being able to continue without there being some kind of clear cut let's clarify this death energy see what's required of you for this clear cut yeah justice i feel like you've been wrong done by this person i feel like this person may have may have even affected your confidence through not giving you the kind of um, emotional support. What am I trying to say here? Because I feel this person has hurt you. And I feel like it's deep and I feel like it's emotional. But I feel this person has hurt you by not making you feel emotionally seen, by not making you feel supported and i've also got my throat is killing me right now guys i really feel like my throat chakra has been affected through this reading book for you more than the other piles part number three i can barely get my words out so there could literally be so much anger held back here you could be really angry with this person underneath you could want to say to this person you are the biggest idiot i think i've ever met like you could literally want to just be like scream in this person's face for some of you part number three but i've got the three of cups here as well so i do think that for some of you this person and this is only if you know this to be true okay i don't think there's anything hidden here nothing here is telling me that what i'm about to say is hidden so you'll know if this is you but some of you know about a third party situation with this person some of you know that this person gave themselves to somebody other than you some of you know that this person treated you like an option. Some of you know that this person gave their emotion and attention to someone else as well. Now, for those of you who don't resonate with that, it could be a kind of spreading thin of their energy with you and their friends and so on and so on, okay? They're not treating you like um, their main support system. You could have been their main support system. You could have helped them through some difficult time and they didn't reciprocate that energy, treat you like you were the person who supported them through a difficult time. I'm kind of getting you supporting them through a difficult time. And this has actually happened to me with somebody, but you've supported them through a difficult time. And then this person not giving you any credit for helping them through that at all. Okay. There is an energy of you needing to cut off your emotion to this person. Like cutting off the stream to this person because for for your love they need to start showing love back and i don't think they're going to feel the deficit of your emotion until you fully pull it away okay i don't know whether that makes sense for you guys part number three because this one seems a little bit deep and i feel that for for this reading, I do feel that I could be talking to a lot of people who are in early connections with their person. Because obviously, like these, you know, could be people who haven't even reached relationship status yet. Obviously, are you going to be in a relationship with this person? For you guys, we could be talking about um, connections where you have been in the dating phase for a very long time. We could also be talking about connections where you have been in a relationship with this person. And it could be a case of, are you going to be in a relationship with this person again? 
just wanted to show it so death <laughs> wants to show itself again you guys have to have an ending for a new beginning if you want a new beginning okay otherwise it's just take this connection just takes too much toll um on you my part number threes so spirit is my part number three or are my part number three is going to end up in a relationship with the person on their mind let's find out just look on the floor because i feel like i've dropped I've dropped any other cards on the floor. I've not picked them up. I'm not too sure. Right. It looks like I've picked everything up. So, ah, oh, our part number three is going to end up in a relationship with the person on their mind. Please, spirit. Okay. The Knight of Water. Right. This person is going to... I feel you are... I've had the same for every pile. Like, I feel my... Pile number threes. I feel a lot of my collective in general actually have the um, the upper hand when it comes to their romantic situations. And like, I shouldn't be shocked that every single pile has came out, right? With my, per my collective having a choice whether they want to be with this person, having the last choice. Because clearly... You know, as a tarot reader, I will attract a certain type of energy and a certain type of vibration. And I feel that the people that I attract on this channel, I know this has been my personal clients, okay, because I do personal readings as well, by the way, link in the description box down below if you do want to book a personal reading with me. But I, over the years, okay, some of you may know this, some of you may not know this, okay, but I do have another channel. So it is called the High Maintenance Hippie Extras. And that channel um well the, the, alg the algorithm really like to push future spouse videos and as much as i do like doing future spouse pick a card readings the algorithm was only pushing those and i was starting to get to the point where i was like wow like my channel just isn't growing because i can't constantly do future spouse videos because i'm really interested in these subjects as well so i decided to make a new channel and some of you have came over from the old channel to this channel and some of you have found this channel um but i do have a future spouse channel as well which is the other channel which is the high maintenance hippie extras if anybody new does want to go and check out that channel there's a ton of readings over there for you to see um but over the years okay so i've been on youtube doing tarot now for two years in total and over the years i have um accumulated some amazing clients and out of all of the clients that i have personally read for literally 99 percent of my clients have been absolutely beautiful beautiful human beings like i could not be more grateful for my clients who've had a reading from me because you are all absolutely stunning amazing beautiful souls and i've only had like literally like one percent negative clientele where i've been like oh this person is a little bit uh -uh, with their energy literally I, I don't even think it's one percent i'd literally say like it's 0.05 percent um because i don't want to give you specific numbers but yeah um so i'm not surprised that my youtube collective or the youtube collective that are gravitating towards my channel are getting the last say with their people because of course your people my youtube collective are going to realise your light, even if they don't realise it straight away. So even if they don't realise it straight away, they're going to see your light eventually and they will come back and you will get the last say. And I want to say in some cases, it could be the last laugh, all right? But I don't feel like I want to push that phrase too much because I honestly don't feel like my YouTube collective are those kind of people who will have the last laugh. You're the kind of people to be like, I, I feel for this person. I feel I have empathy for the way that this person has treated me because clearly for them to treat me like this, they must have been in a really dark place. Okay, my YouTube collective have empathy. So every single pile you've been posed with a choice, you will get the last choice. Um, pile number three when it comes to this person. So will pile number one, so will pile number two. Pile number three, you could be somebody who is in the limelight of some kind. You could be um, a content creator. You could be well known for some reason, or you could just have like a pop in social media. All right, because there's something around them watching you, watching you grow came through very strongly here, watching you grow and falling in love with you from a distance is what I'm hearing here. But yes. 
will you guys end up in a relationship with this person this person is going to come in with some kind of romantic offer this person is going to ask you out this person is going to show you emotion show you that they have feelings for you they could ask you on a date but i'm also getting a trip all right so this person could come in and ask to actually take you away this could involve um plane travel okay with this book this ticket here or it could be like a festival or something that requires booking tickets i'm also getting like your favorite band or something like that okay so this is going to be quite a big gesture i don't see this person coming in and just saying hey should we meet up um for a quick drink in the pub do you know what i mean or a quick drink in a bar i see this person wanting to actually make an event with you and they will come in and they will um, offer to take you somewhere quite substantial to show you i really do like you but it's going to require some patience here it's going to require some time before this person realizes that they have given up the best person for them like literally like their ultimate soulmate is what i'm feeling here as i said this person will fall in love with you from afar okay they'll be watching you and they will fall in love with you there's a lot they haven't been honest about there's a lot they haven't said to you what else have we got spirit eight look at them they're trapped up in their head five of wands like this is like how they feel on the inside conflicted there's um yeah an element here of being too up in their head do you know what it is they are they are so trapped in their head they see any entrapment in the physical world and the external world as like too oh, just what am i trying to say here because they impose themselves in their own mental prison they can't take any form of entrapment in their external world their physical external world because it's just more of that entrapment if you know what i mean so because they can't release themselves from the entrapment in their minds they only know how to release themselves from the entrapment in the physical world does that make sense where all they have to do is do some mental work have some therapy or yeah just try and get to the bottom of the death at the bottom of the deck again it keeps wanting to come out for you my throat is so like blocked in this reading school for your energy with this person as well but this eight of swords energy is really confusing me because i can't think as to why they are so trapped in their own head um let's clarify this eight of swords before i continue because they feel like s-h-i-t they have a lack mindset. They don't feel like they fit in. Justice. It's a lack of balance within them. Oh, do they not feel like enough? Do they have talents that they've not showcased? Do they have goals? Do they have dreams that they oh, do they have parts of their personality that they shy away from and hide away from because of fear of being judged? This may make sense to you because I feel really confused and it makes me think if you were to tap into this energy with this person, they'd be confused as well. Maybe they'd be confused because they don't know that they do this. They don't know that they've imprisoned themselves in their own lack mindset, all right? And whatever this lack is within them, whatever's caused this lack within them is going to be different for all of you. I heard this person's living a lie. I'm getting something around a moon in the ninth house here. So I don't know whether you know that this person has a moon in the ninth house. Maybe this, there's, a, there's something to do with this person and travel as well. So it's like this person may travel a lot to kind of, um, oh, what's the word I'm looking for? Soothe the fact that they their emotions are blocked oh god where am i going with this because it's like they're emotionally blocked their emotions don't flow that moon okay their, their emotions aren't flowing with that moon energy but to compensate for that lack of emotional openness and flow in that ninth house they travel to satisfy that it's like they're running away from their emotions there we go. I finally got it. I finally got there. They run away from their emotions. 
So this person may travel a lot. And they're not traveling because they love traveling. Woo! They travel to run away from something, from their emotions, from something emotional that's trapped within them. What is trapped within them emotionally, please, spirit? Spiritual awakening. I'm just going to pop that there because I don't want it to... I don't know what am I doing. Spiritual awakening, realizations, final chance, forgiveness of self or others. This person has big dreams for themselves and high hopes, and this person doesn't feel like they measure up to those. This person is a big energy, but they don't feel like they measure up. This person could literally be... Um, they could be a small business owner, let's just say. I'm kind of just making this up, okay, as an example. But this person could be a small business owner, but they look up at big CEOs, and they are like why ain't that me where another person might be like well that's you know that that person is just like that's steve jobs do you know what i mean but that's steve jobs he's a god and i am a disciple do you know what i mean like not everyone will relate to like steve jobs or beyonce or the biggest names um in our media they will look up to them as gods but this person sees themselves as an equal, which I think everyone should. Everyone should see themselves as an equal to any other human being on this earth, no matter what their status is. But this person does look at themselves as an equal to those person, those people, and they kick themselves every single day. Why am I not Steve Jobs? Why am I not Steve Jobs? Why am I not Beyonce? Why am I not Beyonce? So to so they see failure in not being the biggest and the best in the whole wide world when really they should really understand that they're on a journey and that instead of kicking themselves that they haven't reached the ultimate goal yet, they should praise themselves for reaching where they are and know that they're on their way to that goal. And I do think this person, I've get, I'm getting an ego trip. I just heard spirit say ego trip. Um, it could come across as being very egotistical and um, very self-righteous is coming through as well. But this person kicks themselves for not being do you know what i mean like a rolling stone do you know what i mean something like that and they generally get anxiety and feel really crappy about themselves that they're not mick jagger do you know what i mean does that make any sense to you but their soul just hasn't done the work to reach that point yet and if this person could just let go of the goal and just focus on the journey i think they'd be fine and a big key to them actually having success in this world is to um, open up emotionally. And the sun. Yeah. This person's soul is drawn to you because you hold a key to open up some of their blockages. And their emotions, this moon energy is one of their blockages. I think you're going to have to be patient, though, to actually see this person open up to you, to see this person actually say, hey, like, I want something solid with you. I want something real with you. We actually are on the same page. Huh. Okay. See what the Obsession Oracle has for us. Sixth sense. I feel you when we're apart. Your souls are connected, definitely. This person's never going to be able to shake you. Gift, I have so much more to bring to this connection. Yes, this is a thing, like, you have so much more to bring this person. You are a gift to this person. This person isn't a gift to you. You are a gift to them. And obviously, in return, their gift to you would be that emotional support, physical support, that love. But you have a key that unlocks something within them which has a um, connection to their success surprise this connection isn't what you initially expect okay so yeah you may be in a phase of this person at times where you're thinking hell no like i want nothing to do with them and you may not realize that there is a little something more coming okay whether this be a relationship or whether this be a friendship by the way i think you'll get a choice to either have a relationship or a friendship with them i actually don't see you guys not being friends so i actually think the worst case scenario with you guys would be friendship um toxic i'm addicted to adrenaline and drama 
Yes, because it means they don't have to open up emotionally. Guilt. I regret hurting you and damaging what we had. I think for a lot of you, this is a returning situation. But as I said, it doesn't have to be. And off limits, my feelings for you are forbidden because I'm unavailable. And I think that's them currently. They are currently unavailable because their heart shut off. Okay. They're distracting themselves as well with stupid, stupid, frivolous situations. I feel like they're distracting themselves with, um, oh, my throat again, with like toxic people, drama, fantasy. You make my wildest dreams come true. You are literally like this person's fantasy partner. Like you are everything this person has ever wanted and more. Reminisce, I still feel you again. Could be a returning situation for a lot of you. This person still reminisces about you both. Dominate me. Come and show me who's boss. Now, huh. there's a lack of control with this person. This person doesn't do the best for themselves at the moment. They don't choose the directions that are most healthy for them. And I feel that their soul is screaming out with this sun energy down here and this dominate me energy. Their soul is screaming for you to take control of this situation, to force them to do the right thing. But upon the three, that ain't your job. Okay. What does this person wish they could say to you right now? Upon the three. What does this person wish they could say to you? right now they want you to chase them you know they want you to take control they want you to tell them we are going to be in a relationship and maybe for some of you you will but i think the best thing to do is to let this person come back to you i think a lot of you could actually force this person to be in a relationship with you by saying that actually you should be in a relationship with me you're in a relationship with me we are we are doing this now i actually think they would um succumb to your demands but i don't think you'll be happy if you do that i think you need to wait for this person to come to you okay what does this person wish they could say to you right now part of the three okay i know you're my soulmate they know they know you're exactly my type you are literally everything this person's ever wanted seriously i'm purposely trying to trigger you like this person is trying to make you jealous this person is trying to make you chase is what i'm getting here this person wants you to want them whilst also pushing you away which is absolutely nuts but it's like their ego is pushing you away but their soul is drawing you in no matter how much they try and like delve into like toxic situations or the toxic situations or distract themselves with stupid SHIT, they just cannot take their mind off you. I don't know how to reach you. For some of you, you could have actually blocked this person. All right. I would probably say if you do still have feelings for this person, this is more of like a, a situation with this person where you're wanting them, but telling yourself you're not wanting them. It might be worth them blocking them on something just to give them a chance to come through when they do make their mind up, if you know what I mean. But that won't be for everybody. That's just if you are wanting them, but telling yourself that you're not wanting them because we do that. <laughs> um, this person might also not know the words to say to come to you. This person might be ready to come to you really soon, but they just don't know how to say what they want to say because... Physically, it will look like nothing's changed in their world. So the only thing that's changed is their mindset and they might not know how to describe that to you. So they could come in exactly the way that they were before and you're like, you are exactly the same as before. What in the hell has changed? And they can't articulate what's changed, right? So look out for that. I'm going through something right now. Yes, they are. The fact that they don't feel enough I'm going to look at this one, but I'm not going to take it. It was all my fault, okay? This person is literally taking blame for all of this. S-H-I-T, that transpired between you guys. I've never felt this way before, and I'm scared. Because they've tried to walk away, and they can't, part number three. But yeah, I do feel you guys will get your say within this connection i do feel that a relationship is here for you if you want but i do feel part number three your situation is a little bit more complex because i feel there's either more history with you guys or things have like yeah moved very slow with you guys um but yeah i'm gonna leave that there hope this helps if you make it this far please drop me a like comment down below if you've got anything to say at all and also please do subscribe if you do like this content because 
it helps the channel grow and this is my new channel it needs to grow more and more and more and more and more um and yes the links to all of the decks are in the description box down below every single deck used today are my creations okay the red light oracle which is a bit of a naughty um oracle deck here spank you've been naughty going over my knee <laughs> the obsession oracle which is a more generic oracle deck too much your emotions are pushing me away no um the everything left unsaid oracle i'm so attracted to you there we go okay just nice key phrases to clarify your readings and then the tarot deck will be for sale soon it's not for sale yet because i need to correct my silly silly willy mistake um but yeah oh, take care of yourselves beauties and i shall see you next time goodbye